Okay, hi there. My name is Jess then and um, I'm the course leader for the Foundation Degree in Photography. We also have with us our module leader Ian Bergham. Hello everybody. And uh, we also have Gary, along. Uh, he's our tutor technician um, for the course uh, the degree in photography at College of Kamai. So without further ado, I'm going to go into my presentation. I'm going to share that with you now and show you what we have to offer. So I'm hoping that you can all see this clearly. Um, Rory, if you can give me a thumbs up if you can see that. Yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. So um, this is our foundation degree in photography. And if I scroll through, if I just do this present. There we go. Brilliant. OK, this is our course team. So our course team have over 30 years of industry experience working for clients such as S4C, BBC, Sky Sports, ESPN, HarperCollins, Intel and Welsh Government, just to name a few. So you can rest assured that you're in good hands if you do choose to study with us. The course introduction, then this is our course leaflet on the left and some of our links to our social media pages um, and course pages. So if you'd like to take a look at this, if you are interested in photography or pass them on to anyone who you know might be interested in taking a look. The course itself is a full time two day a week course, which is awarded by the University of South Wales and students have the option to attend their final year at the atrium in Cardiff to achieve a, a full BA honours degree, which is what we call the BA top up. The benefits of studying at the college at College Camoys are that we have smaller class sizes compared to larger universities, allowing us to have more of a dedicated approach to teaching and learning. And we also offer lots of support to learners as well. Um, you'd also be classed as a student of both institutions. Therefore, you can have the use of both libraries to choose from and other facilities available to you, uh, like the student union. The course includes a wide range of creative and technical photographic skills. This includes photogra digital photography, post-production techniques, extensive studio and location work, and lots of field trips and gallery visits, as well as traditional silver uh, film based photography in the dark room. We also contextualise the course by regular visits to museums and galleries to ensure that students are examining the way in which contemporary and historical photographers work and to understand the importance of this. Our facilities are excellent. We're really proud of what we have at uh, Colliga Camoy. So we have industry standard photographic studio equipment, brand new bronze colour lights, a dark room where students learn more about the traditional methods like developing film and hand printing their own images and brand new Apple Mac machines with the latest operating systems and Adobe suite with access to specialist equipment like cameras and lenses and brand new high end production, large format printers as well. Um, you can see some examples of our uh, printing uh, students prints on the left hand side there and examples of students uh, developing film in the darkroom as well. Awards and testimonials then we're proud to say that we're extremely um, we have extremely hard working students that have been recognised and awarded for their photography war, uh, uh, work, achieving national awards from the Skills Wales competitions, the Inspire Learning Awards from Colliga Camoys Higher Education Awards and from the National Photographic Society and Society of Wedding and Portrait Photographers. You can read more about what our students have to say at camoyth.ac.uk forward slash photography. Partners and industry links that we have then during the two years the students study with us, there's lots of opportunity for professional development and work experience. And as a creative team, we have lots of industry uh, industry links that we set students up with. So, for example, this year, uh, last year, should I say, thanks to IJPR, Screen Alliance Wales and Pinewood Studios, our students had the opportunity to photograph on set of the Sky series season two, A Discovery of Witches, in which they photographed behind the scenes scenes, props and costumes and we also had one of our students complete work for BAFTA Wales photographing on the uh, red carpet and um, behind the scenes um, in the after party event as well. So there's lots of industry experience embedded into the course. This enables students to develop their photographic practice, their professional practice. And not only do we collaborate with some amazing industry links, we also collaborate with our our other internal HE courses. So we'll photograph costumes and props and hair and makeup and special effects work for our other HE courses um, that be introduced to you after following, following my presentation. 
We go on some amazing field trips, obviously with photography, we're out shooting. Um, you can see on the left there, we've got some images taken from our, our visit to Pinewood Studios when we were on, on, on the visit to um, <clears throat> photograph behind the scenes on the Sky series Discovery of Witches. A great show if you haven't seen it. And uh, another image taken from our overnight trip to London on the bottom right hand side with some of our crazy students there enjoying themselves. We also have um, some more field trips here, images taken from Bristol and Bath. Uh, Bristol is a great one as we spot all of the Banksies as we walk around. As you know, he's a Bristol born artist, if you know anything about Bank Banksy. We also have images here taken from Natural Resources Wales on the left, um, Cardiff Bay, the Coal Exchange and the National Collection Centre, which is part of the National Museum of Wales and Laycock Abbey, um, where the first negative was created by Fox Talbot in 1839. Guest lecturers then and guest speakers, we have a wide range of people coming in to talk to our students. Um, these might be lecturers who are um, landscape photographers, portrait photographers, studio documentary, music photographers. We also have specialist lecturers who come, up, come in on two specialist um, modules. Uh, who will teach special, specialist modules and um, business speakers from Big Ideas Wales and that media group who come in to discuss things um, to consider if students decide to start their own businesses following the course. Um, several, several of our students have gone on to start their own businesses um, after completing the course. We'll also do gallery visits. So on the left there, top left, you'll see um, Martin Parr and David Hearn. Um, that was a talk at the National Museum of Wales, Cardiff. That, ha that has now its own designated photography section. So um, if you can visit, then it's worth a visit. We also will visit London Galleries, Photo Gallery in Cardiff, which has uh, got a new um, house in Cardiff now, and other independent galleries to help further contextualise work for the students. So um, there's lots of background information there. So. Getting on to just some of the images that students have taken now and, and images of them working. We've got our traditional photography, so you'll go into the dark room, use film and um, film cameras, develop your films and view your negatives. So this is there's some of our students on the right hand side using film, developing and viewing their 35 mil negatives on the light box. We've also got a few, few more large format negatives there on the left and contact sheets which are printed, hand printed in the dark room. And then we've also got students who've explored experimental techniques in the darkroom, including photograms on the left, cyanotypes, paint image developer and sun pictures. Then we've got studio photography. So our studio, some of this work is actually from our most recent studio module. I've got 10 students this year on year one, and some of them are incredible photographers, as you can see for yourselves. Um, this, this module was called Photography and Illusion, so lots of floating objects and very obscure items. Um, Students do tend to bring in some obscure and sometimes smelly items into the studio, but again, some really excellent results, um, you know, beautifully presented and, you know, playing with fire, <laughs> um, don't tell the boss, um, which we, uh, we have here and also some um, also some staples and stationery and some macro photography and portraiture work as well from the studio and some more abstract work on the left, some strawberries in space and a puffer fish on the right. And then we've got some um, more portraits. Uh, we've, we've photographed nudes in the studio, fashion shoots, costume shoots and self portraits as well. Location photography then, here's some of our student location work. One of my favourites on the left hand side taken in Bath and another taken in Cardiff on the right hand side. The husband, they're looking extremely happy to be shopping with his wife. And um, also some of our students have travelled. They've been a bit further afield. I think these were taken in the south of France. Ian might be able to tell me better there. He's the skier in the in the group. Um, but some incredible travel images taken by our students and more locally in Cardiff Bay, which we often tie this trip in with a, uh, a visit to the atrium. So students who choose to study to the, do the BA top up in their third year, uh, we tie this in with a trip to collect student ID cards, meet the staff, tour the facilities and the library as well. And then we've got um, another one of my favourites on the left taken this year at Garu Nant for one of our clients, Natural Resources Wales, um, with an abundance of Christmas trees and another one taken on the right hand side on a beach uh, last summer down, down west, I think. 
Then we've got some um, formal and informal portraits taken on location as well. Um, so you can see some of our students working. That's Leanne on the left. Leanne has actually got her own business now. She's doing really, really well. Um, I'm not going to read this. This is a bit of a heavy, heavy slide. But in terms of photography, I think people think that um, taking a photograph is just just about taking an image, but this it's such an important sector. There's so many job roles uh, available. You know, you might decide to work for the police and do crime scene forensic photography. Um, for, for those of you who aren't faint, faint hearted, um, you know, there's advertising, corporate fashion photography, uh, so many different genres, types of photography, food photography, documentary, interior architectural weddings, you know, traditional weddings, still lives, and you can even sell your work as well. So there, there's, there's lots of different different things that you can do with your degree um, if you do choose to study photography and I can kind of help you with that down the line if that's something um, you know if you decide you want to start your own business or you want to go into a specific genre of photography in which we can put you in touch with industry professionals. So if you are interested in photography, you can follow us on Instagram at CYC Photo Nankaru and Facebook. We've also got, like I said, for more course information, camoyth.ac.uk forward slash photography, which will give you information about student finance, give you information about the course, or you can just drop me an email on jessica.emmanuel at camoyth.ac.uk. And that way you can talk to me in person. I could always give you a call and we could discuss the course in more depth and I can explain the modules in more depth and what we do. Thank you very much for listening.